Welcome to the Mathematics in my channel. In this video, we are going to solve this interesting integral. Integral from 0 to pi over 2 tan of x over 4 times natural log square of tan of x plus pi square. Well, how to begin? Okay, let's begin with uh, King's property. We know uh, King's rule. Uh, 0 to a f of x dx is equal to 0 to a f of a minus x dx. So now we can write here uh, our integral. Uh, I'm going to take is equal to i, and now we can write 0 to pi over 2. Here tan of uh, pi over 2 minus x. We know tan of pi over 2 minus x is equal to cotangent of x over here 4 times uh, natural log square of then again tan of tangent pi over 2 minus x. We know again cotangent of x uh, plus here pi square dx okay then here we have natural log square of cotangent of x so i am going to simplify a little bit natural log square of cotangent of x so we can write uh, natural log of instead of cotangent of uh, x we know 1 over tangent of x uh, and here is square then uh, we know we can write here natural log of tan of x raised to the minus 1 power here square uh, then we know according to property of natural log this minus sign we can write minus natural log of tan of x 2 power then uh, we know this is equal to natural log square of tan of x so we can write here integral from 0 to pi over 2 cotangent of x over here 4 times natural log square of tan of x plus pi square dx okay then uh, we know this is also equal to i now uh, if we take some of these uh, two integrals we can write 2 times i is equal to integral from 0 to pi over 2 now we have same denominator so 4 times natural log square of tan of x plus pi square and in the numerator we have tangent of x plus cotangent of x dx okay now uh, we can simplify tan of x plus cotangent of x so tangent of x plus cotangent of x we know sine of x over cosine of x plus cosine of x over sine of x and we know now sine square x plus cosine square of x is equal to 1 so 1 over sine of x cosine of x so uh, we can write our integral is equal to 0 to pi over 2 uh, here 1 over sine of x cosine of x sorry so we can write here dx and here we have 4 times natural log square of tan of x uh, plus pi square times uh, sine of x cosine of x okay then hmm, now we can uh, take a substitution so uh, what is the substitution okay uh, let's take uh, t is equal to natural log of tan of x then differentiate dt is equal to uh, derivative of natural log function we know 1 over function so 1 over tan of x then according to chain rule derivative of tan of x we know secant square of x dx now uh, we can simplify here 1 over cosine square of x cosine over sine so cosine get cancelled and we have 1 over sine of x cosine of x dx okay then uh, we can plug in here mm, uh, before it uh, we should change the boundaries we know uh, when lower limit when x approaches to 0 lower limit when x approaches to 0 uh, natural log of tan of 0 we know tan of 0 is equal to uh, 0 so mm, we know this limit limit 
x approaches to 0 plus uh, natural log of x here uh, plus means positive side x approaches to 0 from positive side uh, this is equal to minus infinity also we know uh, upper limit tan of pi over 2 we know infinity so limit x approaches to infinity natural log of x we know equal to infinity so we can write uh, our integral minus infinity to infinity uh, here dx over sine of x cosine of x sine of x cosine of x we know dt so here dt over now here 4 times natural log of tan we know t so t square uh, plus pi square okay then we know this is uh, general integral arc tan integral so we can write uh, 2 times i is equal to uh, 1 over 2 times pi uh, inverse tan of 2 times t over pi uh, from minus infinity to minus infinity to infinity uh, if not uh, you can uh, rearrange this integral uh, from 0 to infinity 2 times 0 to infinity according to symmetry okay uh, here also not issue so here we know i is equal to 1 over 4 times pi uh, inverse tan of now if we plug in upper limit inverse tan of infinity we know pi over 2 then minus if we plug in minus infinity again minus so plus phi over 2 phi over 2 phi over 2 we know pi and this pi get cancelled and i is equal to 1 over 4 okay this is the answer for this nice integral if you like this type of videos please subscribe this channel thank you for watching